All right, y'all, here is section 7.3. Sorry I'm out today, um, but this section, because of the stuff we've been doing, is actually probably one of the easiest sections we could do. And uh, really, the homework is just as much about review, getting us ready for our quiz tomorrow, than it is um, really even about today's assignment. Because we're still going to just FOIL, right? Or the box method, whichever one you like better. I'm going to talk about both again. So, so all the stuff up here is just telling you what it should look like, but I really don't like this. When they put that 2 times 2x times 3 and try and rememorize what these formulas are, I think that's where students get into trouble. So I just want you to just kind of go through it. So I'm going to do really these three examples here, and then I'm going to have you guys try this one here. So let's take a look here. 3x plus 4 squared. Well, think about it. What does 4 squared mean? Not what's the answer. What does it mean? It means 4 times 4 which, yes, we can solve by multiplying and getting 16. But anything squared means times it by itself, right? So for this, this means 3x plus 4 times 3x plus 4, right? Now, we just get into what we did yet the last section, right, which is just FOIL, right? So first, I've got 3x times 3x, which is 9x squared, right? 3 times 3 and x times x. Outside, I get plus 12x. Inside, I get plus 12x. And last, I get plus 16. And now you can kind of see what they're trying to say up here. Two times both terms multiplied together. Because it will give me two of these terms, which I can add together and get 24x. The rest of the stuff just comes along for the ride. And there's my final answer. Okay. Now I did this one by using FOIL. I'm going to do this one by using the box method. And again, it doesn't matter which way you do it. right? Whichever way you like better. So this again means... 5x minus 2y times 5x minus 2y. And again, I could use FOIL here first, outside, inside, last, or I can use the box method. And I don't care which one you use. So 5x minus 2y, 5x minus 2y. And I just start multiplying terms. 5x times 5x is 25x squared. 5x times negative 2y is a negative 10x times y is xy. 5x times negative 2y is, again, a negative 10xy. And a negative 10 is a negative. 2 times 2 is 4. y times y is y squared. And if you remember, you can always add on the diagonal, which really is what this ends up being as well, is these terms are the terms you add on the diagonal. And so the first term gets written, of course, first. Negative 10 and negative 10 is negative 20xy. And then plus 4y squared. Now, it looks a little different because I got multiple letters in here. But it's still the same process. We can do this, right? Again, if I, I'm going to do this super quick, but if I use 3x and 4, 3x and 4, and I start multiplying, 9x squared, 12x, 12x, and 16, and add on the diagonal, I still get to the same answer. That is a 16 in here, right? So let's, I think you can do this without me. Let's have you guys try these two problems, 1 and 2, OK? So press, press pause. Remember what squared means. So write it out that way first, and then FOIL it out, whether you use FOIL or the box method. Press pause, try it now. Okay, so um, I'm just going to use the box method for both because I think it's just faster. x7, x7, x squared, 7x, 7x, and 49. These two added together gives me x squared plus 14x plus 49. That is the answer. Over here, again, box method, 4x minus y. 4x minus y gives me 16x squared minus 4xy minus 4xy plus y squared. Add on the diagonal, 16x squared minus 8xy plus y squared. It looks a lot like what that other problem did right above it, right? Okay? All right, so let's move on to the back page, okay? And, and again, when you see today's homework, just a second, I'm grabbing it here, right? It's asking you to use both the box or the FOIL method, or the box or FOIL method. I don't care if you don't want to use the box method, just use the FOIL method the whole time. If you want to use the box method the whole time, use the box method the whole time. I don't need you to do both ways. So look at what this says on this homework, right? Rewrite this. Well, first, that just means this. That's rewriting it, right? And then putting it into the box method. So again, if you like FOIL, don't use this box method. But doing that and then going through and then writing the answer, right? That's what you have to do in that problem, okay? More of the same all the way through here. 
another example of like foil using a binomial and a trinomial hill. Remember, if you build that as a box, that you should go like this and put 2x and 1 x squared minus x plus 2. It has to be a 3 by 2 box for that problem if you're going to use it. Okay? All right. So, moving along here to the back side of today's homework, or of today's notes, excuse me. And it's the same thing. It's the same thing, but instead of writing squareds, some stuff is going to cancel here. You're going to see it. Okay? So, again, if I use FOIL or the box method, I'm going to get, and I'm just going to, again, I'm going to use the box method here. First is x squared, outside is minus 5x. Inside is plus 5x, last is minus 25. So again, if I go like this, I get the same thing that I get here, just in a different form, and I still combine on the diagonal. But when I combine those like terms, look what happens, right? A 5x and a negative 5x, well, 5 minus 5 is 0. They cancel each other out in both of these. And the answer is just x squared minus 25. That's it. That's all you got to do for that, okay? On the second one here, same thing, and now I'm just going to use the box again. And again, I'm not picking the box because it's my preferred method. I'm just trying to bounce back and forth between both. So here, 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times y is 3xy. 3x times negative y is negative 3xy. And negative times a positive is a negative y squared. y times y is y squared. And look, again, those canceled. It's just 9x squared minus y squared. That's it. That's the answer. Okay? Press pause. Go try three and four. Okay, go try three and four. All right, x times x is x squared. 10x, negative 10x, and negative 100. Again, those cancel. x squared minus 100. x squared, 3xy, negative 3xy, and negative 9y squared. Those cancel. There's my answer. Okay. Now, if you haven't noticed the trick yet, it's what it's trying to say up at the top here is the middle terms cancel out, so it's just whatever a times a is and whatever b times b is gives me the answer. So like here, x squared minus 9. That's it. So here, x squared minus 25. Here, 9x squared minus y squared, and so on, right? Now, if you don't get that, don't worry about it. Use the box. Cancel them out if they're opposites. Don't do this if this is like the other page and they're the same. Then I have to add it together. If they're the same, then I have to add it together. If that was a positive 10, then they would cancel. But it's not on this page. But it is on this page, okay? And that's going to show up in your homework a little bit too, right? So if you look at, um, like, this problem and this problem, right? It's just like what we just got done talking about, okay? You're going to do this entire sheet front and back for homework. Just this, though. Nothing more. And some of it is just review, especially 7 and 8 and 9, stuff that you're going to see on your quiz tomorrow. So you want to make sure you have all of this accomplished. So um, that's it. That's all the notes for today. Do you think today, guys? Get this done. This is, this is an easy one, especially considering how much we've done the last couple of days. You can get this one done in class. Uh, if you didn't finish the 7-2 homework, maybe you're finishing that first. Um, but otherwise, get this stuff done. Be ready for the quiz tomorrow. Have a good day.